So we just finished filming our review of Coors Light and my bottle's warmed up a little bit, but it's still pretty cold. Still have that blue cold certified mountain on the front there on my label. My friend, I think, you know, with our Inside the Bracket series, we've tackled so many important legendary questions in the world of beer. And I think this is one that I have been very excited to get to in this series of episodes about Coors Light. And I'm sure this is something that a lot of people are wondering about. We all know it does what it does. If your bottle is cold enough, if your can of Coors Light is cold enough, that mountain range, that Colorado mountain range, will have that nice bluish cold color to it. If you show up again with warm beer, we're not letting you in. How do I know if it's cold? But what exactly causes that? How does this work? What is this voodoo? Is this the beer wizards working their magic again? Or is there something a little bit more scientific behind it? Well, there is. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, this uh, technology that is used on the cans and before the cans uh, on the bottles, because Coors actually started using that technology on the bottles before and then like introduced it after on the cans. But that, mm -hmm. that step was a little bit more difficult because like it you know introduced like a different level of complexity. Yeah. But there is a company behind this uh, hmm. this magic and the company is called CTI. And they have a specific, uh, a wide range of types of inks. And uh, I was actually fascinated researching this a little bit because they uh, are used uh, in many different settings, like from uh, food, uh, not only necessarily beverages, but also in uh, in the medic field, like for uh, uh, now nowadays with the you know COVID vaccine, certain ones like need to be uh, held like within a certain range of temperatures. The cool thing about those type of inks is that they react like in, in certain uh, ranges of temperature, which for for cores obviously we know is in between like 40 and i think 48 like that's when the ideal temperature is when yeah. the mountains turn blue but reading on the website is interesting because they say that uh, this is a patent and secret <laughs> uh you know formula for this ink they use and they talk about mi micro capsules and they talk about you micro know uh, fats that react to temperature and then uh, allow like certain components to react together but i what i like to think is that more than like these micro like to capsules think? like we have like those tiny wizards <laughs> that are directing like that's what i think it is that's what i think it is i am much more inclined to believe your wizard theory so really, it's just essentially that type of ink that just reacts to the temperature and then the color changes. Yes, that's correct. It's uh, specifically, they have different ones. Like uh, this one here is the thermochromic ink that so mm -hmm. reacts to the temperature change. And specifically to uh, this one that they use is to the cold activated. There's certain others that are reacting to heat. Yep. There's certain others that they have that react to sunlight. Uh, there's certain others that are, you know, glowing in the dark and so on. Like, I mean, there's all sorts of wizardry out there. Well, there you go. There you go. I, know, I don't know what everybody was expecting, but a little bit more simple than what we could have imagined, but still pretty complex in itself. Not quite wizards, but magic nonetheless. Beer magic. Beer magic. Nothing wrong with beer magic. <laughs>